Hey guys, this is your boy Luthias, and today I'm going to be teaching you the basics of the keyboard controls and the mouse controls of Scum. Now the reason why this is so important is time is everything in this game. The time it takes you to change weapons, to change stances, to react to certain dangerous situations. The, sh the shortcuts to doing things quickly will be the difference between life and death. But before I start with this guide, I want to tell you guys that Scum is exactly what I've been waiting for and I hope it's exactly what you've been waiting for. Now the reason these guys sold 700,000 copies within the first week is because of the idea of the game and that includes the metabolism, the intense crafting and all the other aspects that makes this game great, the events that breaks you away from the survival once you start getting a bit bored or it starts you know, becoming a bit too much of one thing. So the idea that the guy, guys have got with the megs and the underground bunkers and the animals are great and I just hope they expand on it. I mean we're sitting on an island that's controlled by rich guys so I hope they import animals from Africa like lions and gorillas and all kinds of dangerous animals that makes the PvE element even worse at the moment. Because one thing I can see is if you're playing single player and you can gear up in an underground bunker then there's basically no more challenges for you. Because the puppets challenges you only that much. And of course the megs, you only encounter them when you're going after loot. So when you're totally geared up then it's basically unnecessary to take on the megs. But Looking at the PvE element, this game can do, can bring in a lot more things. Now the main focus for me here is stop crying about the difficulty, okay? I do not want to hear people complaining about the metabolism and the complex crafting system. Guys, there are basic games out there, basic survival games that you can go and play and have fun with, okay? This game is ultra real, ultra fun, ultra immersive, and there are various ways for you to spawn at your friends, okay? Just build up 50 um, fame points and then you go spawn in the sector where your friends are at, okay? This is not a running simulator, this is a survival simulator, and I love it. So where I want to start with is stop breaking down the game, okay? It's their idea and their game sold 700,000 copies and everyone's already excited. So I just hope the community does not change their main focus, okay? And make sure that they stick to their core ideas because that is exactly what makes this game so great. The core ideas. And no, it's far from day Z okay it, and the future plans of this game is insane at the moment strength helps you a lot with recoil control and stuff like that but later on your melee combat and your unarmed combat is going to have so much more effect when you fight guys in the beginning so it's just really really interesting okay and i love it to bits the graphics is freaking insane it's not that it's the best looking game in the world, but it just pulls you in. The stamina system is what I've wanted in the game for so long, especially a survival game. And for me to start at the basic controls that you will have to know when you start is basically, of course, WASD. Okay? S A and D is, of course, for straving, forwards and backwards. So that's easy enough. Okay? And then again, you get, press the V keys to enter combat mode and then of course the jump key. And you can press the C key to crouch and then you can hold in the shift key and use your mouse to lower your stance and higher your stance. Okay, this is, these are keys that you're not going to learn just from the controls menu. And it's really awesome that you can, can control it the way you want. Of course, when you're fighting, you can use different directional keys. Do not spam your um, left mouse button because that will drain your stamina extremely quickly. And of course, your punches won't have so much power and they'll be much slower. Okay, so instead use the block when you can. And I've seen that if you hold in W and S while hitting, 
then you can do a few combos. Of course, the more shots you land, the more combinations opens up. And of course, I've seen that if I play around with my di directional QEs like S and D and S and A, then the guy, you know, swipes quite regularly and throws in some haymakers there. But of course, our melee skills isn't at advanced, so that has an effect as well. Now, when it comes to using the inventory, what I want you to do in the beginning is see what it takes to craft the certain things. Like, I know it takes two small stones to craft a stone knife, okay? So I don't have to go to the crafting menu and go and select a stone knife and say craft. I can just click on both the components, right click, and select it. The other thing is moving things around wastes a lot of time. Dragging items around in your inventory wastes a lot of time and it can cause your death. So what I want you to practice is to use the pop-up menu there and double click a lot. Especially when you're searching through a, a military bunker, double clicking on the items in, in the crates is the fastest way, okay? If you're going to drag everything over and try and figure out if you want it or not, you're going to waste a lot of time and somebody's probably going to shoot your head off. Again, here I know, one large stick and my stone knife can make an improvised spear, okay? So I want to do things as fast as possible. In the beginning, it's not going to cost you your life, okay? But in the end, when it comes to PvPing, your search time and the quickness that you gather items at and the speed at which you do certain things can be the difference between life and death, okay? And just makes the game much more quicker. Now, when it comes to puppets, you're gonna wanna hit the headshots always, okay? And although they're moving around, all I want you to do is get the height that you have to throw the spear at, and then basically see where they're moving to and judge your throw so that you know by the time the spear gets there it's going to hit hit the head where it is at the moment okay basically seeing where your target will be and that will help you a lot with pvp as well guys because the game's got a bit of desync which i see as the only problem at the moment in this game is the desync you also, in PvPing, you want to learn where the target is moving to, okay? Where he will be. As soon as he's standing still, as soon as you see him desyncing around, you want to inter, you want to see, okay? Or think where he's going to be next, okay? And then you want to shoot in that direction. So if you see he's mo moving side to side, then anticipate you know his next movement or where he will be next and that will get you a few kills like that but again with the puppets if they're moving around you know just check where they're gonna be if you're hunting animals throw your spears at the disc at the speed they are moving which is normally very slow okay but again headshots guys and if you throw animals or spears don't worry it will be quick Again, here you see in the inventory, I'm double clicking everything, guys, and I'm sorting out what I want and what I don't want really quickly. I saw I got a metal scissors there, or a pair of scissors, so now I know cutting up rags at this time is the best place to do it, because I'm going to get the most amount of rags with the tool that I'm using now. And then, of course, I know five rags and a small rag strip can make me a bundle. So instead of using six slots in my inventory, which I basically almost don't have, I can create that bundle, which only takes up two slots, and then I've still got two, two extra slots to put in the strips of rags so that I don't have to uncraft it when I'm in the action. And of course, because I've gather, gathered the strips and because I've got the scissors, I can now um, basically harvest those big rags of dirty clothing and I could, can make my backpack really quickly because I know that five small rag strips makes uh, improvised rope. The second thing I want to tell you here guys is the swimming. You will see that I'm jumping into the water and I'm above water. Okay, everything looks fine. But because scum is so ultra real, my, all my clothing and my backpack is picking up the water and I'm becoming heavier. Okay, so everything 
that I'm wearing is soaked at the moment and that's adding extra weight to me and that is why my character is sinking okay that's th these are the small things that I love about scum now if you can't get up you'll need to use the space bar okay swimming upwards is not going to help you're going to drown but if you use the space bar you can basically float up okay and what I like to do is as soon before I get into the water I, I dump all my clothing in a bush or something where people won't find it because doing it like I'm doing it here and showing you guys is a way to survive but of course getting all those items back or going to find those items wherever you drop them is not the best idea okay now you can see I'm drifting above water because of the weight I'm light again and the bit of the pair of pants I've got on now doesn't affect me so I can go on swimming okay and again focus on your stamina because as you can see this swim means I'm swimming as fast as I can I know it doesn't look fast but that's the fastest you can swim now if you try and do the mouse scroll wheel like jogging you're gonna basically do the breaststroke which is just as fast in my opinion but it doesn't use as much stamina so remember that and again like I say the best way to do this is to leave your clothes at a certain spot if you want to go and investigate something like the island which is in the middle of the dam and I found out the hard way that the island's got one tower, one tent, and one building with not enough loot. So it wasn't worth the risk. But it was still a very good test run. So that I knew going into the water is a big risk. And if I want to swim, it's much better to leave my loot inside a bush before I enter the water. And then I can go, go and investigate with little risk and come back. As you see here, I took a lot of damage from drowning and of course because I had no gear on me I took a, a bit of damage from the puppets as well. Now you will see again I'm above water but as soon as my backpack gets heavy it's going to pull me down again okay and it might seem like not a lot of weight to you but in the game that is what's affecting it. As you're seeing I'm holding in my space bar here to swim up. But as you can see, my head is not clearing the top edge of the water. Okay, so although you can press spacebar, it's still not going to save you. So rather do that tip of leaving your clothes behind. Another keyboard function that I've learned so far is hitting with your weapon. Now, left click is of course shooting it. But if you hold in the control button and you... I think it's control or shift one of the two guys control or shift and you hit the left mouse button then you're going to smack them over the head and it's going to do a bit of damage okay so there's an extra tip for you as soon as you run out of ammunition just smack them you know on top of the head or if you don't want to um waste a lot of ammo because you're getting swamped just use that bash key with a gun which again isn't in your controls but will help you in a very tight situation the reason I put the sound off there is background noise that I don't want in the video. Now, the second thing is your map. M is, of course, your map. And your map is the most crucial part. Okay, like I said, yeah, there you see I've got 100 fame points with not a lot of gear on me. And I can spawn at my friends very easily. The second part of this is when shooting, make sure your stamina is at 100%. Because your stamina will affect your accuracy and of course the sway of your weapon. And when you're ready, hold in the control button to hold your breath and get those accurate shots in. Okay? Here you can see I'm not holding in the control and because of the sway, I'm missing a few shots. So, especially in a PvP situation, make sure that you time your shots to the best of your ability and then ag again... Your strength has a major effect, your stamina has a major effect, and of course your rifle skills have a, have a major effect on your effectiveness with rifles. When it comes to puppets, there are various ways to get rid of them. Here you can see I'm running into a house, closing the one door. I didn't see that the, the other door was open, so I'm just getting him off my back, getting a bit of distance between me and him. 
and then I run out and I just close the door in the process trapping him inside okay so now I can hit him in the head with the spear and of course I can loot him inside the house without fearing of getting killed by a player here again I see a puppet coming to me and using a window has got great advantages first of all the puppet can not get to you and you can kill him safely from inside and there's no evidence to other players that you are here if you leave all the doors open it's gonna alert the players already and make them you know aware and more careful so rather not open the doors and use the windows again with the fighting you will see here that as soon as I get a few shots in it's easy to get the combos going okay and again as soon as my stamina is down I'm using the right mouse button to block the shots okay again just building up my stamina and then getting the combinations in but of course if you want to see this work to the full extent put that melee or unarmed combat skill to it max and you'll see the difference the biggest thing why strength is so important for me in scum guys is because of the recoil control yeah in the developer guide they show you that strength, stamina, and of course your skill level with rifles is extremely important when it comes to recoil. Now because I'm not the best PvP in the world, and most of us aren't the best PvPers in the world, recoil control is going to be extremely important in close quarters combat. Especially when you've got a good gun. Just look at this first person view when everything is maxed out. Now that's what you need when you are not the best PvP in the world. And then the biggest tip when it comes to the sniping skill and the other keyboard um, buttons that you can use, which is not in the game's options, is when you try and target uh, with the scope, then you need to tap your control key for the range finder to, to activate. Now in this video the developers are just showing you again how much sway you are having with a bad sniping skill. So the sniping skill comes in whenever you're using a scope. Which is very important because a lot of battles are probably going to work with scopes. Especially if you see people in a town from outside or you see them in a, you know close to a military bunker then sniping is going to become a factor okay if you want to run in with high strength then it's of course great but these are going to be some easy kills if you want to upgrade your sniping skill but that's going to take a lot of um dedication at the end of the day because having five strength is one thing but having five intelligence is another thing okay so in the intelligence, you're going to have to decide if your survival skill with crafting is more important to you or the sniping skill. What I would say, if you don't want to work on your awareness, get your survival skill to medium and your sniping skill to medium. And then that will give you about, um, let me just see, it takes six points to get a skill full. It takes basically three points to get it to medium. Yeah, then you're still going to have about a few points left to put in awareness and, of course, um, camouflage, okay? So, because sniping is quite important, you're going to have to decide what you want to do. And if you're in a group and you've got a PvP pro in your group, make sure that he maxes his sniping skill, okay? And, of course, remember, the stamina has got a big effect, now guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you liked it, and of course, leave a like and hit that bell button because I'm going to give you guys a lot more tips. This is the first of many guys. Let's support these guys, buy the support pack, and have fun. Cheers.